Hi, in today's video I want to explain what is the Isaac chromosome and first let me draw a picture of the chromosome. Uh, let's assume it has a short arm and long arm. So this is chromosome in its doublet form. So this is two sister chromatids and let's assume that on the uh, long arm that is called uh, Q arm and short arm called as P arm that we have um, for example three of course this is can be hundreds and thousands of genes but let's for our presentation we will use three genes say A, B, and C. So it means that on the sister chromatid that is identical copy and made from one of uh, this uh, uh, chromosome and uh, so it has the same genes A, B, C and I want to highlight that uh, it cannot be like capital A and small a uh, because this is total uh, homologous uh, genes, total homologous uh, chromatids, and one of one of them made from another one. So everything should be um, identical. So uh, let's let me draw one more picture of the cell and. Isaac chromosome is a, uh, one of the meiotic errors that leads to unbalanced genetic material and to the formation of the uh, Isaac chromosome, which is chromosome that has two identical arms. And how it happens? Uh, just let me divide this cell into two and uh, this is say uh, metaphase and all our uh, chromosomes line it at the middle of this uh, of this uh, cell in this plane but one of the chromosomes just uh, line it at the wrong plane like this and let me highlight the uh, centromeres here so now you see that um, uh, if microtubules would be attached to each uh, centromere from both sides of the cell and during uh, metaphase they would be uh, pulled to the different sides of the cell what we'll get with this particular chromosome let me draw a larger picture here um, this is going to be uh, our chromosome on the left same thing let's say A B C A B C and this is the homologous A, B, C. So when it would be put to the different sides of the cell, we will get on one side uh, one of the chromosomes that is A, B, C and uh, C. B A so this is our 
QR that is doubled, and here also QR long two long arms on one side, and on the other side of the cell we will have two short arms P arms, and when say this one cell would form two cells. On this side we will have one of the chromosomes with two identical arms that is long arms and on the left side we will have one uh, chromosome with two short arms and usually uh, chromosome that is formed from the two short arms is lost so it's like a deletion and on this side we will have uh, like doubling of uh, genetic material and lost of the material that was present on the short arm and uh, this is how either chromosome is formed and usually it happens to the gene number 12 number 21 and X chromosome and Y chromosome uh, usually with uh, uh, long arms of this uh, sex chromosomes and uh, as for uh, uh, chromosome number 21 uh, there is a certain disease that called uh, Down syndrome probably you know it that caused by uh, tripling of this chromosome but in some cases like I explained it before we can get one normal chromosome from uh, one parent and another chromosome that has two doublet uh, two doublet uh, arms from the another parent so if it is centromere and we have a doubling of long arm on one chromosome say receive it from the dead and here we have one long arm received uh, on the normal chromosome from the mom so we have one two and three copies of the long arm and only one copy of the uh, uh, short arm and uh, actually this is not the correct picture three chromosomes would look like this so, uh, in some of the cases, uh, you won't see this picture when you do karyotyping and you instantly can see, okay, there are three identical chromosomes, 21, and this is Down syndrome. But sometimes it's uh, harder cases that you cannot see right away uh, that there is tripling of the gene genes but with uh, if you use um, uh, certain dyes and that uh, will make a chromosome look like this with uh, of course different dyes you can get a different pattern so you always know that for example this chromosome have two identical arms uh, so, of course, this is made with the uh, help of the computers and uh, same case with uh, uh, X chromosome when we ha in some of the diseases like uh, Turner syndrome that is usually uh, X chromosome zero called but sometimes it's just uh, doubling material like uh, either chromosome uh, when we on one of the X chromosome only short arm are lost so we have one normal X chromosome and one another one receiving from the another parent uh, that has uh, two identical arms and say one short arm that is lost so there is a certain uh,
thin and typical um, features, then you can tell this disease. And uh, same thing with Y chromosome. Uh, so uh, now you know what is the either chromosome is. And thank you for your attention. Uh, please subscribe to my videos. Thank you and goodbye.